So now we're going to talk about direct proof and counterexample. So before we, we haven't really talked about whether or not a statement is true or false, and now we're going to kind of switch gears to do that. So to evaluate the truth or falsity of a statement, so to determine if it's true or false, we must know the meanings of all terms that occur in the statement. So I'll say that terms are defined very carefully and precisely and it is important to learn them word for word. So we're going to start with our first set of definitions. We're going to define what it means for an integer to be even and what it means for an integer to be odd. So an integer n is even is even if and only if n equals twice some integer. And we're going to say an integer is odd if and only if n equals twice some integer plus one. So you could say, let's let's summarize. N is even means n equals two times k. It's twice some integer, so two times k for some integer k. And if you were going to say that n is odd, then you need to write it as n equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So those are the definitions of even and odd. So now let's look at an example. Use the definition of even slash odd to justify the following. So I'll ask first, is zero even? So the answer is yes, zero is even, and the justification for that, well, if zero is even, then um, then it needs to be written as two times an integer, so two times sorry, zero equals two times what? Two times zero. Let me ask now, is negative 301 odd? You probably know that yes, that is odd. Yes, negative 301 is odd because, or since, it's two times something plus one. Well, that needs to be negative 151.
So now let's ask some more arbitrary questions, not about specific numbers. Say if A and B are integers, is 6A squared B even? Well, if you notice, there's a, a six there, right? Which means I can factor out a two. So the answer is yes, six A squared B is even because six A squared B, to be even, you have to write it as two times something and what goes in this something, three A squared B and remember the requirement is that this thing in parentheses here it has to be an integer so why is it an integer 3a squared b is an integer because it is the product of integers products of integers are integers. Remember, integers are like whole numbers. When I multiply whole numbers together, it's still a whole number. D, last question is uh, if, I'll say if, A and B are integers, is 10A plus 8B plus 1 odd? So we're going to say yes, 10a plus 8b plus 1 is odd. Well, if I want to show that it's odd, well, I've already got the plus 1 at the end. It needs to be 2 times something plus 1. And what goes in this something, if you factor out a 2, 5a plus 4b, and... 5a plus 4b is an integer because it is a sum of products of integers. And it's a sum of products of integers, so it has to be an integer.